Do you ever feel like you're just on that never ending treadmill? Do you feel quite numb, quite switched off and disconnected? To the point where you just feel like you're the passenger in someone else's journey or they're driving the vehicle and you've no idea where that vehicle is heading or that, for example, you're in a movie and you're just the supporting role in that movie and of someone else's show. Those kind of feelings, feel that like you're just doing what's expected and a little bit lost. I know I definitely was in this stage when I was wearing the clothes I thought I was expected to wear first and foremost in my suit, doing the job that I was doing or having all these busy meetings, studying for my PhD, all of these, and thinking I was ticking off all this expectations that showed that I was succeeding in life, but not really feeling a sense of peace, calm, happiness, completely unaware of my own wants and needs. If you recognise any of my story, then this is the video for you. You're in the right place. I'm Mary and I'm here to create spaces and opportunities for you to experience transformation. And in this video, I'm highlighting five key steps that I've become aware of, of that personal transformation that we go through. So I really wanted to share them with you so you can see the signpost, the journey. And perhaps you have your own, I'd love to hear from you, let me know in the comments below of any that you wish to add to this discussion. So let's just open this up. These are the ones that I've highlighted. So number one, the first stage that I believe happens is awareness. So this can come in many forms. It may appear in mindfulness, you know, walking in nature, perhaps some meditation, yoga practices, this type of thing, breath work, things that slowly start to give you those little snippets, those little moments of inner peace, connection, and just awareness. And I find that this is the beginning stage. If you imagine a caterpillar that's just been busy going along, minding his business, doing what's expected, eating plenty of food. I'm imagining the little hungry caterpillar now eating all this food and then the leaf. And then I, would say, I wouldn't say it's all of a sudden, but this leads to number two. You start to question your purpose. So you may be doing all these things like we've said, the things that were expected of you. And these could be things, these expectations you've put on yourself or that somebody else has put on you. In my case, I put them on myself. And you're at this point where you're questioning all of those, all of those expectations. And this is that point where I imagine as that caterpillar, if you will, if we're gonna go with that analogy for transformation, you pause and you make that cocoon. Now this could be perhaps a gentle questioning and just to the point that you reach that you just feel like you really can't, you're questioning your job, you're questioning perhaps some of your personal relationships. This can actually appear as what some people call the dark night of soul, where it can be quite a profound moment and it can really hit you. So you can feel quite immobilized with it. And so you build this cocoon or you pause and you stop, you reflect and you take this moment to question everything. And this is where that cocoon building begins. Whilst in there, there's that incredible rebuilding transformation happening, whether you're aware of it or not, this is going on, lots of churning up of emotions, perhaps questioning your upbringing, your childhood, all sorts is going on. Perhaps you're reaching out externally for some guidance, that those types of things at this stage. This for me was definitely apparent leads to stage three, which is moments of delusion. <laughs> You think you've had a breakthrough, realization, transcended loads of this stuff that's gone on for you. You think you're flying, you've broke through of your cocoon and you're up there soaring. You've had a few realizations and breakthroughs. And for me, in Kundalini Yoga, they call it a Shakti Pad. Um, it's where I definitely reached my spiritual ego. It's where you feel like you've reached this point where you can start telling people what they should or shouldn't be doing or making out that your way is the best way and you've got it all figured out. So you, you're up there thinking you're actually flying and in fact, absolutely not. You're in your cocoon, dreaming away. Definitely not flying at this point and it's just a point then it's almost like you hit another dark night of soul but you realize you have a bit of maybe what people call an ego death you're like oh no actually i have no idea here what who am i you know 
to be saying I know everything. And this is where you really go through maybe perhaps what's called another dark night of the soul or just another deeper questioning. So really, you're just back in that cocoon. You're rebuilding, you're questioning everything once more, peeling away all these layers of protection, all these layers of status and things that you may have built up around yourself, just questioning all of that now, deeper level. And also this is then where you might start to be tapping into some shadow work and looking at questioning your role in all of this and seeing life as that mirror and that reflection of all your own stuff being reflected back at you. So this is a really interesting stage I feel. And I think this leads quite nicely then onto stage four and this is where you begin emerging. You may just be starting to come out of the cocoon you may just be starting to share some of the, your wisdom, your, your things that you've learned along the way and just poking your head out. You know you're not flying at this point, but you've got that little bit more of developed self-awareness and you're just starting to look out and you're well aware that the work will always continue, that we will always have stories that we are looking at addressing, evolving. And then I think this leads really nicely on to step five that is where you really feel into your own autonomy and empowerment so you're really starting to come out once again you're not fully emerged because i don't know you tell me if you think you really do reach those points in this lifetime perhaps you have moments of of really almost breaking free but we're still coming out of the cocoon but you're really feeling fully formed in terms of the structure of your butterfly. There's, no, there's none of this mass churning of these prior stages going on anymore. You've formed your butterfly form. You're feeling strong in your center now. You know you're responsible for your own reality and you are feeling autonomous in your decisions. This is where you start to feel like the lead actor in your own movie, the star of your own show, the driver of your own journey, driving your own vehicle that you take full and complete responsibility for. You are on the journey of your own personal transformation. 